Good morning. Have a great Thursday, everybody. Almost to the end of the month and beautiful May weather. A little bit on the drier side when it comes to the air and how it feels, but temperatures have been pretty solid and pretty average for sure. No rainfall, obviously, throughout the day yesterday. High pressure is the name of the game. That's the story, and that brings us sinking air, plus it also draws in some drier air coming in from the north. But as high pressure eventually shifts off to our east, that will bring us a southerly flow. So the air is dry now, but the moisture to our south and west will gradually increase here over the next couple of days. And as temperatures warm as well, that's going to start to give us that more sticky feel to the air. So enjoy it. Perfect nights for fryer pit uh, nights and uh, hanging outside and taking nice little strolls around the neighborhood. Uh, so let's do this again, shall we? Sunny, quiet, and dry. The rest of the week, comfortable weather on the way. There's a chance for some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms as we get into the weekend. And it looks like that's going to be the story as we get into next week as well. So the day ahead of us today, we're going to see lunchtime temperatures pushing right around 70 degrees. Forecast high temperatures back into the upper 70s to low 80s. So average weather or slightly below average. But generally speaking, we're looking at some nice solid average weather throughout the day today. So if you know me, you know I love a good classic fire pit night. And the kids are on summer break, so why not enjoy the evening hours? So between 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock here tonight, temperatures will go from the mid-70s down into the upper 50s. So it is going to be a perfect night for a Thursday night fire pit night. And because the air is dry, that's going to allow our uh, temperatures to dip down into the 50s for the last day of the month for morning lows, that is. But on the last day of the month, Friday, we're going to see those temperatures climb right back into the low 80s. So a picture perfect Friday ahead of us. And again, I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans as we get into the upcoming weekend because, well, we're just looking at some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will hover in the upper 70s to low 80s. So a solid weather pattern continues all the way through the upcoming weekend. Not quite as sunny and dry, because we're going to see those elevated rain chances. Those elevated rain chances will be with us as we get into the weekend and the start of next week. Uh, it looks like a little bit more activity as we get into the start of next week as well. I'll highlight that here in a moment. Big trough of low pressure hanging out with us. That's what's helping to bring us the slightly below average temperatures. We'll gradually warm here over the next couple of days. Not a big ridge of high pressure, but on the western side, we've got some disturbances. And that's what's going to help to bring us the chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we get through the day uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So here's our Saturday forecast. We're going to see this disturbance swing its way out of the Great Plains there Saturday morning. There goes that upper level wave. It's going to swing its way to the north. Now, we don't have a ton of moisture to work with, and so I'm not looking at a ton of activity. But we could see some afternoon showers and thunderstorms associated with that. Then we'll dry out and quiet down as we get into our Sunday morning. Sunday, there may be another little disturbance to swing its way on through. So when you break it down to the forecast, this is from the Weather Prediction Center. This takes us through Saturday morning and clearly not looking at much activity here, but most of it's going to be two hour west. Now, all the way through Monday, we'll start to see those showers and thunderstorms start to creep their way back into the area. So maybe upwards of a quarter to half an inch of rain, generally speaking. This is a broad brush forecast. Uh, gives us an idea of what kind of moisture is heading our way. And then by next Wednesday, we could see anywhere from a half an inch. I would say less than an inch of rain is looking likely over the next seven days. So yeah, we're going to have to start watering our yards again, but maybe hold off for a couple more days and conserve, conserve some energy and, and some water. Uh, all right, temperatures are going to be solid. We're going to warm back into the mid 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday. And as I showed you just a moment ago, we are looking at uh, quite a bit of more humidity. Uh, dew points come way up. So that's going to start to feel more like summertime as we get into the middle of next week. And those morning lows will come up thanks to those higher dew points. So yeah, that gives us more of that summer feel to those morning hours as well. So highlighting the weekend specifically, a disturbance swings on in, light rain showers, some afternoon showers and or thunderstorms possible, meaning light not uh, necessarily, not light coverage, I should say, <laughs> light coverage of showers and thunderstorms. All right, so stay on top of the weather situation as we round out the month. You get your daily forecast updates. You get access to the only 24-hour weather channel. Plus, you get access to an amazing interactive radar. So as we get out onto the lakes, as we get out and start to the splash pads and the swimming pools, you'll get push notifications from the East Tennessee Weather app that lets you know that lightning is within 15 miles. That's your first indication. Click on that button. It takes you right to the interactive radar. You say, oh, okay, just a pop-up storm. We should be just Fine. So check that out. Download it from the uh, from the App Store or the Google Play Store today. It's 100% free. Just search ESTN Weather, all one word.